You've got a beautiful day, Jeff. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thrilled to have a day to spend out here with you guys. So today. what about it? How, how much fishing have you done since the hurricane? Uh, I've done some, you know. I've been out here poking around, trying to enjoy something other than the cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably not much pressure. No, very little pressure on the fish. So the fishing's been pretty darn good, so I would expect it to continue. Yeah. So what do you got tell you? What do you want to do? You know, I'd really like to try to maybe look for some small tarpon or uh, maybe a bonefish or something like that, and maybe even some permit. So I think those will be something we'll try to pursue this morning. You're going to do that right around here, or you got another place yeah, in mind? I don't, I don't anticipate running too awful far this morning, but... Uh, you know how fishing goes. It yeah. It's always subject to well, change. We're ready. We've got a full <laughs> tank of gas. We've got bait. we got everything. So, and a, and a new boat that wants to run. So oh, well, feel eat. free. Let awesome. her go. Sounds great. Let's go for a ride, boys. I like fishing with Jeff. He, we always see Jeff for, for all these years. We see him at the dock. You know, he gives us good fishing reports. And, and he runs a great um, charter operation right here at Hawks Cay. He's got a couple boats now, I think two, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So the tarpon time and I'm hooked and he runs a great service. I mean, Jeff's a true professional, man. That guy fishes hard. And uh, it was great to kind of get down here post Hurricane Irma, see what he has been doing because Jeff was, you know, one of the guys that was really instrumental in, in really helping to clean up a lot of the marathon area right away. And he, you know, just jumping in wherever he could. He was on a backhoe clearing the sand off of the off of the road. And just, you know, that's what happens. Man, the community just comes together so much. The, if there's a silver lining, I think it, it is that the community comes together so much after, after a storm like that. Absolutely, and, and it was, uh, you know, both of us, Jeff and myself had been you know, really just kind of wore out, you know, it's been a month and just cleaning up and, you know, not really, you know, getting out fishing much, maybe once here or there for a few hours. But it was nice to just say, hey, you know what, let's let's take the day and go. That's a lot of bait. All right, wow. we got a good start. That's awesome. Good job, man. That's some clean bait catching, man. You barely even got the boat dirty. <laughs> One shot right in the well. Of course, if you're going to go fishing with Jeff, it's usually going to start with catching bait. You can always tell a good fisherman if he knows if he knows where the bait is, and that's that's definitely Jeff. He has a commercial background, and he's also got you know this. He, he can throw a net well, and he loves catching those pilchards. So he knew right where they were. And, well, and the uh, coolest part about this was we go to look for the bait, and when we got to the bait spot, we're like, oh, let's go look on this little cove. There could be some tarpon in there, and sure enough, right. the tarpon are rolling right in the bait spot. It's nice to see these guys just up and happy this morning. What do you think they did during the storm? Huh. Stayed right there. <laughs> you think? Might have been dry. There he is, right there, blooped. Hunkered down. I'm just gonna glide. I didn't make it, Jeff. I don't think I can make it either. A little short. Ooh. Hey, you got him. I think, well, he ate it. Got him now. He's Good job. Him, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look at him go. You got him on there. <laughs> oh, nice work. Right on. Nice work, Tom. Get it so Get it awesome, up. man. I mean, you talk about a fish wanting to play ball. That guy was, was absolutely ready. To, he was there to play. He ate that shrimp so good and, and gave us a nice show right at the boat, and we were on. Well, I love seeing those little tarpon jump. They, you know, for the size of their body, they get so much height, just, just back flipping, just so aggressive. I mean, what a, I mean, a cool scenario to, to start the morning. Yeah. He looks just like a big one. He doesn't look like a baby. He's like, got the proportions of a big one. Come here, little guy. Man, he's strong. Oh, it is nice to get out here and fish, man. The water looks, Perfect. Oh, yeah. Right in the button. Nice. That's terrific. Man, that's a survivor. What do you think the wind was blowing right here, Jeff? <laughs> the wind during Hurricane Irma. Oh, I would imagine it had been blowing a good 115 anyway. 115 mile an hour winds, that guy can find a way to survive, probably in 150 feet of water. <laughs> uh, he's absolutely perfect, man. He's a survivor, though. And things are 
Things are looking up. Well, it's always nice to catch a tarpon right off the bat. One way to start the day to a slam. Can't catch a slam without a tarp. See ya, buddy. Woo. Awesome, look at that big boy. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor.